Good morning, friends. It's been a while. Today is moving day. We're picking up our trailer and we're going to clear out the rest of this ranch and bring it all to the new farm. It is finished. Well, nearly so. <laughs> so as you can see, um, we packed up all of Fish Ranch yesterday with one or two little exceptions that are no big deal. Um, and I'll go back after the holidays to get that stuff. Um, but um, we were only there, that, that time lapse was only about an hour and a half. It was very fast, uh, very easy. And we totally forgot to film the unpacking, but of course that only took like half the time. Um, so that's all out at the farm now, which is very exciting. Um, so this morning, um, I was gonna go out to the farm and, and do some laying out of new beds and stuff like that, but that can wait till after the holidays. I've got a lot, a lot of baking to do this afternoon. Uh, but this morning, I needed to come out here and do a couple chores in the garden. Um, I upgraded some of these uh, cloches, were the small cloches and the, um, the plants had gotten so big inside. So I upgraded some of the ones that were really busting out at the seams to bigger cloches. And I covered some of the smaller plants that actually had gotten some munched on a little bit um, with small cloches and they'll come back probably because there's still plenty of stem there. So uh, this is the cloche garden right now. <laughs> um, and so I decided, oh, first, by the way, clearly other animals do not like mustard. This mustard is super spicy. It's delicious, um, but it's getting huge and it looks beautiful. Um, and then the Swiss chard that's here has been being nibbled on, um, but I'm not, I'm not gonna cover it up right now. It's in the shade of this mustard, so I'm just gonna leave it. However, over here, this bed is uh, weeds from, well, they're not, they weren't weeds. These are so self-sown flowers from the flowers that were here in the bed before. Um, I'm gonna pull all of these up and I'm going to <coughs> sow some seeds, direct sow some seeds today. Now, normally I uh, would not be direct sowing these particular seeds. And I actually still plan to start um, soil blocks or, or six packs of these um, in about three weeks. Um, but I figured it's a nice sunny day. Um, even though it's going to rain again next week for like four days um, and we don't have that much sun. I mean, it, this garden, this time of year in December, we get about maybe five hours of sun. So it's not really enough to do a whole lot of growing, but I've selected some seeds of some things that just do not mind frost. Um, and they, even though they'll grow slowly, they'll still grow. So um, I have Brussels sprouts, the Long Island Improved. I've got um, kohlrabi, 
flower speck, and dazzling blue kale. So I'm gonna direct sow some of these in this bed, but first, this bed needs to be weeded. You can see it's just full of cool hardy flowers, uh, cool season hardy annuals that have sprouted. This is actually just a big thistle. Um, that's gonna go into the, actually over the fence into the creek bed area because I don't want that in my compost. Um, so I'm just gonna clear this out. I'm gonna add um, some soil on top and then I'm just gonna direct sow. And as you can see back there, I have a rectangular cloche that I'm gonna cover all of this with because I want the seeds to be able to come up and not be pestered by birds or squirrels or, or even if we have more rodents, which I don't see activity of. Um, the other thing is that will create a mini greenhouse and it will stay warmer under there and they probably will germinate because the soil is not that cold. Um, we don't, our soil doesn't freeze here. So um, they will probably germinate, it might take longer, but they'll be warmer and they'll get a lot of warmth during the day. So maybe we'll actually get some growth out of these. It's kind of an experiment and it's a, if it doesn't work, no big deal. I'll start some six packs in a couple weeks and pop them in here instead. actually really fun. I totally love this. So these cloches are from Gardener Supply um, and they are big rectangular ones so the plants will be able to get quite big in there before I have to take them off. Um, as you saw I did pre-water, um, I mean I watered the seeds in before I sealed everything up. We are going to get rain but that rain of course won't penetrate um, the cloches so they'll when they get plants get bigger they can send their roots out and they'll they'll find um, water from the soil that's a little bit deeper, but we have no irrigation on here at all. Um, eventually we will, but right now we do not. So I'm excited to see what happens in here. I mean, it's definitely gonna be a lot warmer inside these cloches than just out, um, you know, outside in the regular air. So the next thing I'm gonna do is um, open this up just to pull out some of the weeds. Uh, there are turnips growing in here, I believe, but I think most of this is uh, Orlea from last year that self-sowed. So <laughs> um, even though it's pretty to have flowers here, I would like this to be a more clean bed. So I'm gonna go on and open that up and clean it out. I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, as with all things, the winter garden requires intense patience. <laughs> things grow extremely slow. Um, part of it's due to the cold, but more of it is due to the sunlight, the hours of sunlight. And as yesterday was the solstice, um, we are now starting to put on a minute or so of additional sun a day um, and we'll keep doing that all the way up till high summer till the summer solstice so i expect um, the things that are out there to be very slow 
uh, but potentially steady growth. The stuff in the small cloches had grown big enough that I needed to upgrade their cloche size. So that shows some progress. And uh, like I said, the direct sewing today is a total experiment. This has been a very warm winter so far. Um, we've only had a couple nights of frost. Um, next week after the holiday I'll take you out and show you what's going on at the farm. Um, I need to weed grass again but it's definitely better than it was before and the plants are looking good. Um, however there are definitely holes. There's a lot of snapdragons missing so I'm I'm looking forward to starting seeds for those um, in January to get fill in all the holes and plant the uh, north field as well and we're gonna get all new beds and the new greenhouse laid out and all that kind of stuff so I'm super excited and also getting the deer fence finally put up that's gonna take it's gonna take weeks so that's a good winter project um, it's nice to have the sunny days to work but this is our rainy season we've got to get the rain so it seems like it's feast or famine last year there was hardly any dry days <laughs> we had so much rain that things flooded trees fell over it was crazy now I don't know and this is an El Nino year so it's it's a it's a it's a coin toss who knows what it's gonna be like anyway uh, last couple things I need to get at Fish Ranch um, is no big deal. It'll take me probably 10 minutes max. I need to pick up two terracotta pots that I forgot out there. Um, I need to dig up and put into 10 gallon pots a bunch of perennials, lavender sal salvias and stuff that are gonna come with me to far the farm, the new farm. And I need to unlock the padlock on the um, hose link so I can bring that home as well. And then that's it. We're done out there. That's it, wiping my hands of the whole thing. Uh, you know, two years ago, this February 1st, I signed a lease um, out there and I'll link the, uh, the video that I did that day so that you can see what the place looked like when I first arrived. Um, there's a whole series of videos, uh, I think they're called Renovating the Ranch. Um, and it shows all the work that I did out there to make it a growable space. Maybe I'll set up a playlist for that. Um, anyway, uh, so it's been two years and you know, I, <laughs> it was a rough two years. So I had, and some of it was my fault and some of it was the fault of the landowners and some of it was just bad luck. Um, you know, I, I got sick with COVID as we were putting up the fencing and over that week long period that I was immobile, deer came in and ate my entire crop. And so I had to cancel all of my, that was in, that was the first week of August last year. So I had to cancel my entire fall CSA session and reimburse everybody. Um, also last year with the owners didn't tell us and then we found out that they were trying to sell the farm and so I went into crazy you know what am I going to do because October is my planting month and that was when they put up the for sale sign that ended up falling through uh, which was good and I did get some harvests out of there but nothing like I had anticipated for expanding my space from my front garden uh, which was the original flower farm for two years and actually produced a ton uh, to that new space which was like almost triple the size of my front garden and I probably produce less out of that space because of all the things that happened. Um, there was vandalism, there was theft. Um, I had constantly had strangers that I didn't know coming off the highway to come up and talk with me. Uh, it, was, it was a weird situation. So I'm really happy where I'm at now, the new farm and it's coming together. You know, there's always challenges in farming, but I don't mind the nature challenges. <laughs> It's the people challenges that are kind of scary. So anyway, here's to a new chapter. I'm very excited. Uh, I hope you enjoy following along as we get the new farm up and running. Um, there is a lot of work still to do. We've only just touched the tip of the iceberg in getting those uh, permanent raised beds laid down. Now we need to focus on a whole bunch of other planting spaces that are on very uneven ground. And so it's going to be a challenge, but a fun challenge. So I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season. I won't see you for a number of days. Uh, and then hopefully I'll post some shorts while we're on in Tahoe. Hopefully we'll get some snow so we can enjoy cozy winter time activities with our friends that are coming up with us for the new year. So blessings of winter and the holiday season. And I hope that you have a wonderful time with your family and friends this year. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.